this is Vinny. He's a grade quarter war, supposedly 100% beginner safe from a ranch out in Oklahoma. My clients had him for about two months and we've been working together, but he's bucked her off twice now and is just overall being not so beginner safe. So he's officially in for 30 days of training. You'll be able to see in this video a little bit how he's been acting. This is my first day officially working him in the round pen of our training uh, with the saddle on. You can see I do still have the tag on the bit. We were just trying it out this first day. I've taken it off since then because I think it is going to work for him just fine. So these first couple of videos, I'm kind of pushing him. He was wanting to kind of buck, so I pushed him a little bit hard so that way he couldn't. Um, he was doing a, a little bit, you could see in those beginning videos. So once he was doing that, I actually put my back cinch on him. And I didn't put it tight, I could still get my hand in there, but I put it snug so it was a little bit uncomfortable for him just to see what he did. And that's why he did those big bucks just now, is because I put that back cinch on him. So with him, I don't know that he's ever been worked in the round pin before he came to my client. So he's kind of sucks in here. Um, he is does trip a lot, he's cross cantering. His turns are kind of okay since I've been working with him, but before they were non-existent. He just wanted to turn his butt towards me. So you can see right here, he didn't turn correctly. I didn't go right after him again. I waited a minute before I did, which I probably shouldn't have done because that kind of gave him a release in a way. But I did correct him right here and asked him to go back the other way and do it correctly. So right here, he also did it again. So this time I got after him, pushed him back the other way, asked again. He still didn't give, so I'm asking here still. And then he finally gave. So I kind of took that pressure off and let him have it and let him go out. So that way he knew that was the correct thing to do. So now I've put in my reins on the sides. He's had this done quite a bit before. So I wasn't too worried about asking him to canter while doing this. He needs more practice with it. And I know he's physically capable to be able to do this. So he's still struggling with slowing down. You can hear in this video I'm saying easy, asking him to slow down a little bit. And then I let out a big sigh and kind of get in front of his drive line. And he finally slows down to that walk. So at this point he's super relaxed and nice framed and he's not pulling on those reins or anything and I just let him walk. He did this for a while and then this happened and this is part of that unpredictability that is the reason that he's in training right now. His owner would not have been able to sit that if she would have been on him. She would have came off. Um, like I said, she's a beginner. He was marketed as a beginner's horse, and it's very obvious from this video that he is not always a beginner's horse. So those are the kind of instances that she's had the past two times that she's gotten thrown off of him. And as you can see, he goes around and walks off like it never happened and is just an angel for the rest of the video. Sipping on expensiveness, like with the bitterness.